Question 33, in the binomial expansion of a plus 3x to the power 5, the coefficient of the term in x squared is 8 times the coefficient of the term in x, find the value of constant a. So again, we're looking at working out a plus b to start with to the power 5, okay, um, and Pascal's triangle to the power 5, so 1, 1, 1, 1, 2, 1, 1, 3, 3, 1, 1, 4, 6, 4, 1, and 1, 5, 10, 10, 5, and 1. Um, the other thing to notice here is we, we haven't been asked to expand all this, okay? It does say in the binomial expansion of this, but they haven't asked us to expand it fully. They're just talking about the coefficient of the term in x squared is 8 times the, co the coefficient of the term in x. Okay, so all we need is the x squared term up to the x squared term. So that will mean we only need the first three terms. Okay, So a plus b to the power 5, that'll be a to the power 5, plus 5, a to the power 4, b plus 10, a cubed, b squared. That's all we need. So when we then replace them with a plus 3x to the power 5, well, your a stays the same. The b becomes 3x. So this would be 8 to the power 5 plus 5, 8 to the power 4 times b plus then 10a cubed times b squared. Simplify it. So you have 8 to the power 5 plus then, well, 5 times 3 is 15. So 15, 8 to the power 4x. And then don't forget, squaring this gives you 9x squared. So 10 times 9 is 90a cubed x squared, right? Now, going back to the question, it says the coefficient of the term in x squared. Now, the coefficient isn't just this number, it's all of the stuff before the x squared. Okay, so it's all of that there. So it's 90a cubed. And they're telling us the coefficient of the term in x squared is, okay, is, which obviously means equals, 8 times, 8 times the coefficient of the term in x coefficient of determine x is this here, 15, a to the power 4. Okay, so that means 90, a cubed equals, now 8 times 15 is 120, a to the power 4. Now we want to work out what a is here, there's a few ways of doing this, perhaps one of the easiest ways is thinking, well, because you're multiplying here by the number and the a's and multiplying here, we can take the things over the other side, so for instance here, Multiplying here, multiplying here, so that a cubed I could take over, and of course I'd have to divide. Okay, because you're multiplying here, you can take it over, you divide. And of course the 120 then, because you're multiplying, you can take that over and divide. Okay, zeros cancel. 9 twelfths becomes 3 quarters. And you simplify. a fourths divided by a3, well of course you take away the powers with indices, so that's just a to the power 1. So a is equal to three quarters and you've, you've done the question.